What are we doing? Today we're putting this Rick's fender on my Sportster. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. <laughs> hey everyone, uh, today we're going to install this Rix Fender on my Harley Davidson Sportster. Comes with a nice little sh sheet of all what we need. Uh, we got insulation instructions, pages of them, and we got some nice little stainless steel struts, which I might paint or I might not. You can see I've already started painting the fender. It looks a uh, little half done. I ran out of our uh, primer, but. We're going to fix that. So as we're going to be cutting the struts on the fenders, you're going to need some safety eyewear, or you should, otherwise you can just use your squinters. Uh, in Australia, we have these lovely safety glasses, safe style. Show you a bunch I got over here. Come in all colors, sizes, reflectors, mirrors, tortoiseshell, you name it. Not a paid promotion, I just like them. Sportster, which is the bike in question. I'm going to chop the fender up that one. So, I'm going to start by removing this fender, taking off these little LED tail lights I put on. I haven't decided on what suspension to use yet. Something not chrome. Um, cut the struts here. Remove a uh, belt guard, then I think we're just going to drill some holes into the fender. I mean, into the swing arm using this template. Go something like this in here. Doom, doom, doom. I'll show you how we'll do that. Well, I won't show you how we'll do it. We'll just um, you can just watch me do it. Then we might actually wash myself out. Yeah. What do you reckon, hey? But first, we're gonna have some coffee. The shit, lovely, supreme. <sighs> Come on, you fuck. Shit. Do you look at the day? It's bloody cracker. Woo. Let's have another look at bikes. What do you reckon about windscreens? Pretty good. So just reading the instructions, what do we need to do? The motorcycle cannot be rebuilt to original standard as the struts must be cut off. Fine, original belt cover can be used if modified or Rick's belt cover can be ordered. Item number, blah, blah, blah. I think we'll just cut, modify the original one. Loctite, yep, sure. Remove the wheel, shock absorbers, cut the struts, grind prime paint. Probably just do it in a random order, but anyway. Um, so what do we need? We need to cut an M8 thread. Hmm, don't have a thread tapper, so that's gonna be interesting. Drill a hole. Can do. Yep. Sounds like it's gonna be pretty easy. What we're just gonna need to do today is because I'm not going to be able to finish the paint today so we'll just prime it and do like a <sighs> test install and then we'll go for a ride.
Yes. So as you can probably tell, this is also my office where I work. My good friend is kind enough to let me keep a bike inside the office also, which is nice, really nice. Young Mitch over here, another employee. He also has, what has he got here? A bunch of Pokemon cards, not bad. To his draft, sick. Our fearless leader did this painting. It's amazing. I did all these ones. Not so amazing, but they do the job. Racing. So, short little trip to my house and to Super Cheap Auto. Then to Bunnings to buy some a drill bit and a tapping set. Then we might go for a swim, we might go for a ride, we might do the Rick's fender install. Who knows? Well we might just do a burnout. That'd be the engine light. <laughs> Here we go. riding this bike. Hello to dive off today. <laughs> but we will be going to me nonetheless. Ah, oh, the water's so nice. Today's like today, you really appreciate being alive. You really appreciate being alive. <laughs> I kind of wish I brought a towel, but I didn't. Anyway, gonna hit it now. Um, 
If you like these videos, give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. If you don't like these videos, hit the thumbs up for encouragement. Yeah, lovely people. Just got to super cheap auto. Forgot my glasses. So, maybe we'll get what we need. Maybe we'll buy heaps of other stuff instead. So just got all the parts I need to work on the fender, the Ricks fender for the Sportster. Uh, the thing I love just as much as riding would have to be that you can take a perfectly good working bike and start messing with it until it's off the road. Anyway, let's get cracking.
sequence, that's for GT. Pretty good. At Bunnings. Uh, so getting the um, fender ready for paint, just want to wipe it down with some wax and grease remover till it's clean. Just for maximum adhesion. Bloody nice fender though. A little sharp around the edges. Might just deburr those a little. Or just hit them with a uh, flap disc on the centre. <laughs> Lovely day, it's very, very hot. Right. So I've just got a basic etch primer from Super Cheap Auto. I want to give it a good shake. It's just going to rest up here. Perfect. Try and keep all the nuts and bolts. You can probably use them for something else down the track. If there is nuts and nuts on the other end, if there's not, there's not. Oh. Then we're gonna chop these struts whilst, whilst the fender's drying. probably this. Even coats. Ah, I forgot to deburr the edges. feather attached to this. This is drying awfully fast. It's so hot today. Suits me just fine. Yeah. Now that the etch primer is done, there's a bit of um, wire wheeling around this part that sort of might show up in the paint, so I'm just going to hit it with some spray putty. Or oh, well, I was going to hit it with some spray putty. It's 
scrap that, we're going straight to paint. Might do a test fit first before we paint it. No point, otherwise it's going to get damaged. So let's take the bike out and see if we can put it on a bottle jack. Not hopeful, but kind of hopeful. It's a real sketchy one I found at a garage sale for seven bucks. <sighs> so I'm gonna have to go to Bunnings and get a trolley jack, I think. All good, back soon. So I didn't get as far into things as I'd hoped today. A neighbor's going bloody ham on his CNC machine. Uh, I need to get a bike jack or a trolley jack or whatnot. Something else. Um, got pretty decently far on the fender though. It looks pretty good in its new etch primer. Eh? So that's cool. Um, next up, just gonna clear the error codes on my uh, soft tail from the burnouts and probably go for another swim and play with my cat. Hopefully we'll finish off this uh, fender install tomorrow. See ya. Or do I turn this thing off?